Welcome to GGTV. This is a group home channel service for our company, Generations Group Home, uh, where we're talking about every aspect of uh, the company and nonprofit organization. Today, we're going to be talking about an outing that we went on about two, maybe two or three weeks ago. Um, where, where we went to was the Roper Mountain uh, Science Center. Um, and what we did, we well, how we actually found out about it is because maybe like three weeks prior to this, we went to the Greenville Planetarium. Um, and we had such a good time that when we left, we actually were gonna try to go and see the rest of the things and uh, sightsee, but um, this is like a separate cost, right? So we decided to make a plan and come back later. So um, I'm gonna give you an example. We'll go through most of the details of how, you know, this outing went. So whenever we go on an outing, first of all, um, most outings are level based, right? Which I'll make a whole video about level systems and how all that stuff works. But it, this wasn't actually a level based or behavior based outing. It was behavior based to a certain degree, but most of all, it was, um, you know, a general outing, you know, just to let the kids, you know, get out into the community and learn some stuff, you know, and socialize. So basically, um, that morning we load the kids onto this bus. So we have, um, we actually have a bus at our facility. Um, I think it's like 15, 16 passenger, uh, I think a 17 passenger. And we have like, um, a van that maybe holds like seven people. Right. So we took both vehicles. So, um, when we're going on outings, we do something called a pre-outing report. Pre-outing report is when a kid states, um, what his potential triggers might be. Um, just for example, um, pre auto report, um, uh, a high risk that I might have may be somebody staring at me. And what they say is how they're gonna handle it is, you know, ignore it or tell staff. So basically that's what a pre outing report is, right? So they tell what their triggers could possibly be in the community and how they possibly can handle it. Okay, so we do our pre auto report and Honestly, the guys are really excited about this outing. Um, I'm not sure if it's just because they get to eat or if it's, you know, because they really get to see um, new things or um, come off the campus, right? So we're doing our pre-outing report and, you know, uh, we always ask the kids to speak up just so everybody can um, hear their triggers. And then what we do is we actually let them know, like, we actually give them like a overview of what we're going to do. So I might say, you know, well, we're going to the Roper Mountain Science Center. You know, we're going to, you know, go through all the tours and see things. And, um, you know, we just give them encouragement to show community expectations and things of that sort. Right. So basically what I tell them is, you know, whatever you do at Generations, don't do off campus. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just playing, man. These guys are pretty good. At what they do and even though this wasn't necessarily a level based outing um or a behavior based outing you did have to have some level of behavior you know to go off campus because we you know trying to minimize you know um not dangerous situations but you know high risk situations you know um we want to make sure you know how to conduct yourselves when you're out in public right okay so all right so this place is about maybe like mm, 30 45 30 or 40 minutes away from our facility, right? So we're driving and, you know, we got the music playing, the vibes are real good. Uh, people are really just, you know, having a good time. You know, I forget who was sitting up front with me, but, you know, we're really having a good time listening to music and things like that. Just having a real nice vibe. So when we get to the place, uh, we all get off and make sure that all the residents are accounted for. And um, this particular time, Mr. Dave had to go in and, you know, um, get the tickets situated and things like that and get the stickers and stuff. Now, what do you, now what do I mean by stickers, right? So I'm guessing like when you're going through the tour, you have to have like a sticker on you just to make sure that, you know, um, that you're supposed to be there, that you pay, you know, it's not a free event. So, you know, so Mr. Davis, you know, passing out the stickers to everybody, you know, he gives them to the residents and then he gives it to staff, you know, and um, Mr. Dave, you know, he appoints, now we're all gonna be together, but it's kind of like, you know, he appoints a certain group of kids, you know, to each staff, you know, just kind of like to, I don't know, I guess like, you know, kind of like more like structure, right? So, you know, he'll like these staff are responsible for keeping up with these kids. 
even though we're moving in a big group, which is uh, a very good idea because basically, you know, when you get the walking around and, you know, walking around the facility, you know, it's easy for like a kid. He might be just standing off, you know, just standing off, staring off in the air, or maybe he's just like looking at something he's very interested in, right? So if he's doing that and then, you know, people are walking off because, you know, we're in there, we're there with the, in, we're in the community. So we're looking at all this and, you know, we, somebody, we might, well, I'm not gonna say that's what we might do, but to prevent that from happening, um, you know, we don't want a kid to get left behind, right? So that's why they were appointed um, to each staff member, right? So, um, so the first, so we start walking, and I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, it's very hot this day. Like, I mean, I'm already like, this is morning time too, so I'm already kind of like trickling a little bit, you know, and some of the kids are too. So um, first thing we do, you know, hey, does anybody need a restroom? use the restroom before we get started because it's not a guaranteed restroom and we don't want anybody like you know using the restroom on themselves you know it's not going to look good for the company it's not going to look good for them right so we don't want to be walking around with a kid with like wet pants or you know smelling you know like he used the bathroom on himself right so we did that um and you know some of the kids are drinking water you know some of them filling up their water bottle and stuff because they're really going to need it because it was pretty hot out there but um, the first thing I noticed is that when we start walking, uh, we kind of start seeing like a scene, you know, that was very nice and serene, but it's starting to look like similar to like a, how like an old plantation, an old Southern plantation would be, you know, there's like, you know, outhouses and stuff, you know, there's wells and, um, you know, certain things like that. So, um, and so, you know, we actually seen like a big garden. It actually looked like it might be like a cotton field, right? And so, you know, we're, you know, people are just, you know, having their side conversations. Okay, this looks like that, this looks like that. You know, kids are really seeing, you know, stuff they never really seen before, right? And we had this one resident, he was like, yeah, um, I think this is kind of built like how a plantation was made. So, you know, like, you know, there'll be two guards sitting over there and two guards sitting over there, you know, riding horses back and forth, making sure it's right work. And I'm like, hey, 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 how do you know all this stuff, man? How do you know all this stuff, man? <laughs> I'm just, I was just joking with him, but I did tell him that. And, you know, he understood the joke, you know, but, you know, so, um, so, so, you know, we start going through the outhouses. So that's really where I started to get like the plantation um, vibes from, because, you know, like whenever you watch a movie, you know, on slavery or something like that, you walk through the houses and that's what it kind of just seemed like, right? So we went in one place and there was like herbs hanging, um, you know, they had herbs hanging. I don't know what they had going on, but I guess this was supposed to be something like back in the day, they would hang herbs and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, just even though, like, you know, it did kind of have a plantation feel, you know, it didn't traumatize me or anything, but, you know, um, it was, you know, nice, like, you know, seeing that type of stuff, you know, because most of the time you're just seeing it on movies, but to actually just like walk through something kind of similar like that, you know, it was really a big deal for the kids, you know, when they see and stuff like that. Um, I think there was actually one house where they made clothes, like all this stuff is simulated. Like, so, you know, it's not like actual people live there now, but it's kind of simulated to, you know, resemble the old days. So, you know, we're going through there, you know, everybody's having, you know, you know, we're looking at things, we're learning things. There's little like um, sheets. I mean, not little sheets, but there's little like, um, information boards, you know, telling, you know, about, you know, how things were and like what they would do in this house. And then like, we seen this big whale, like not a fish whale, but we seen like a whale. <laughs> so we're thinking like, oh man. So we like run over and look down and it's just like straight ground. So it looks like a deep whale, but it's just the ground. Maybe it was closed off or maybe it just wasn't a whale in the beginning, right? So, you know, we're looking at all that stuff, you know, and, you know, I mean, I'm having a pretty good time, right? You know, because I, I like to, you know, work and like see things that I normally wouldn't see on a normal basis, right? So after that, we went to the, um, I think what we did after that is we went to, there was this like, it was a shed that had like, um, you know, some sheep and goats in it. So, you know, we went to the shed and, you know, we looked at that, you know, and somebody said it was a ram or something like that. So we're looking at that. And, you know, we're just like, okay, all right, you know, we're seeing new things, you know, look, you know, some of the residents are making jokes about Ram, like, what kind of Ram is that? Somebody was like, yeah, 1500, yeah, you know, get it, the Dodge Ram, but anyway, so, 
you know, and now it's kind of starting to get hot, right? So we walk over to the gym mine, right? Where it's like a simulation where the kids can put their hand in the water and kind of like, you know, pick out some, I'm pretty sure they put the gyms there for them, but you know, they can pick it out and, you know, say, hey, I find a gym. And then there's this sheet with the gyms on it that you can go and say, hey, this is this type of gym. This is this type of gym. You know, and um, you know that was pretty pretty cool. You know, I really didn't get my hands dirty. You know, I got nice hands. They want to get my nails dirty, <laughs> anything like that. So you know, that was that was a pretty cool thing. You know, that I think the kids really enjoyed. So after that, um, we we started you know uh, to walk back through this uh, particular trail. And uh, from when I was younger, I remember there was always this um, like a dinosaur. This was like dinosaur theme. Like a long time ago, they would have a, like a, a planetarium with like dinosaur themes. Like even when I was um, young, now, that's been a long time ago. But um, I kind of forgot about you know the dinosaurs being in being in the within the tour. So we're walking, and then we start seeing all these. Um, I don't even know what to call them, but there's like you know like dinosaurs. Like of course they're not real dinosaurs, but they was like replica dinosaurs, kind of like posing statues, but not really, because you know statues kind of put you in the mind of like something concrete. But you know these kind of look real. Like you know I was telling everybody like man if it was dark out here, hey man like I would really be scared you know coming through here and like seeing those dinosaurs and stuff like that. So you know we took a couple pictures you know with the dinosaurs. Well not the residents you know. Um, so, so, you know, the kids were really into seeing the dinosaurs and things like that. So after that, we actually went inside the building and, um, I'm thinking like the first thing that we seen, the first thing that we seen was, um, well, inside the building, we were, we got to look at, um, at certain things. Uh, we got to look at live animals um we got to look at the aquariums and things like that and you know kids were just having a ball they were just having a blast right so after that we went into this um we went to this green we we actually went into this room and there were like green blocks right and then you know i guess it was like for building right so just imagine like lego blocks right so they're lego blocks but you know they're kind of heavy right so, you know, the kids, they just all rushed over there like, oh, yeah. So they're like making all kind of like, you know, chairs and all kind of things like that. And this one kid was stacking stuff like extremely high, like, you know, and then one of the workers that was like, hey, you might not want to stack it that high. You know, these things are kind of heavy. And so, I you know, I reiterated it to the kids, you know, because I'm such a great counselor. Right. I was like, hey, man, y'all don't stack it too high. You know, somebody might get hurt. And so I actually grabbed one of the blocks picked it up and I was like, yeah, man, this thing is like really heavy. So I'm like, yeah. So, but I mean, they really had a good time with that as well. So um, after that, uh, there was there was like a scavenger hunt um, type section. This place has so many sections, man. So it just might sound like I'm like all over the place because we went to like so many sections that had their own themes, right? So we went in one section, it, it was like a, a room, but it was kind of like a jungle kind of like, right? And you know the kids. Um, there was a um, uh, what do you call it? a scavenger hunt thing, you know that they had in this particular building. And well, in this particular room, you know the kids can get a clipboard and like you know find certain stuff. They but like they some of them got the clipboard, but they was just so excited, just like looking at everything, looking at like you know. Um, there was this one hole, and um, I don't know, like there was like a, a, a staff and like three kids was like. Mr. Sean, Mr. Sean, come here. Hey, put your, hey, put your hand in this uh, hole right here. And I was very hesitant. I was like, I don't know, you know, I'm a resident just telling me to put my hand in like a place and like said, you know, I don't know. And, but the staff was right there co-signing it. So I was like, I don't, I don't know. So what I did, I just went for it, right? And I'm thinking it's gonna be like something slimy or something's gonna, or maybe like bite me or something like that. So I kind of just slid my hand in there and it was like just a little burst of air, like like air. And I was like, oh, okay, you know. Anyway, so um, so we get through that, and um, there's just so much stuff to look at. So you know, we're looking around um at the aquariums, looking at the fish. There was actually a certain section um specifically for the fish, 
and you know kids you know was like looking at it and certain uh spots you know kids they could with the assistance of um an employee there they were well, um with the assistance of a staff there they could like hold like a fish or something beneath the water or they can at least you know like touch it or whatever like depending on what kind of fish or animal it was so um there was also um actually a place um like we got to see well two snakes out of the cage there was one snake that you could like pet but you couldn't you know really hold it you know she was like you have to be uh, professionally trained to hold these so i can't let you guys hold them and i was looking i'm like i'm a i'm a professional myself i'm a professional at everything i do <laughs> but um um so they did get the the kids that wanted to pet the snake they got to pet the snake and then there was another area where it was like you actually could hold the snake it was like a long black snake and you know me being the you know daredevil that i am i, I had to hold it you know myself right so i'm like holding it you know you know i just had to show you know how brave i am you know lead by example with the kids right so um and then there was actually um a totally different place that it, it was it's still within the roper mountain science center but we went to another place and I, there's just there's just so much stuff that 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 we've seen. But one place that really stuck out was like we went to um, this room and there was like taxidermy, or I guess that's how you say it, taxiderm, taxidermy. And there was like all this type of stuff, like you know, there had been stuff like foxes, like I mean they're real foxes, but they're like stuffed um, turtles, uh, you know, owls, you know, stuff like that. And it was just like really really neat to see, and it was even more um and, and it was special just to see some of those kids that have never seen stuff like that before because you know we help these kids some of these kids are from background where like their parents never take them anywhere or they're like very limited and um what they do get to see right so um so you know so we're doing that and um you know it like this particular building it had this beehive um I think I got a video of it. I might up, upload it or whatever. But it was a beehive in this glass case, right? And so it's a glass case. Also on both sides, it's like um, just like swarming with bees. Like you know, it's like a beehive on both sides, right? And somebody and like there's this little sign talking about um, find the queen bee. Now if you see how many bees, I was like, man. Well, when I first seen it, there were kids like looking. I was like, what are you guys trying to find? And they're like, we're trying to find the queen bee. And I was like, there's no way anybody's ever going to find the queen bee. Because I, I don't know, it looked like thousands and thousands of bees, right? So, but we went, but, you know, we browsed around in that room. And then we went back. Right before we left, we just looking. And me and the kids trying to act like we're going to find the actual, um, trying to act like we're going to find the queen bee. And we're like looking, you know, I'm getting old. You know, my eyes are not the best. So, you know, my eyes are not the best. Sorry about that. Um, you know, I'm getting older, my eyes are not the best, but you know, I was like, you know, I can't see. So the tour, well, not a tour guide, I guess he was the guide, not the guide, the guide for the room. So he comes in there and he's looking at the, you know, the wall of bees and he was like, uh, oh, right there, there she is right there. And I'm like, what? And he like actually pointed out, and you can definitely tell the difference between the queen bee and the rest of them and it was me and two other residents and we were just kind of like oh wow like you know that's that's kind of major you know um you know that was i mean we definitely didn't i don't think we would have like this the six eyes between us like couldn't do the work of the two eyes of him he just came in and just looked okay that's what it is okay that's where it is that's where she's at like because he's probably been doing it so long it's just second nature to him right so Let's see. So now, you know, we go back outside, right? And, you know, and we're taking a walk. And then we come across this kind of like playground. It's like slides and um, it's like a canoe and kind of like a seesaw mechanism type thing. So, you know, we go over there for a little bit. And, you know, me being a big kid and staff, you know, having fun. We just going down the slide too. A couple kids went down the slide a couple times, you know. And then there was like a canoe there, just a canoe in the ground. I don't know what the purpose was what the purpose of it was, probably just for decor, you know? So we get in that, um, you know, we sit down, you know, uh, take a couple pictures, not the residents because they really can't be pictured, um, which we'll make videos about all that. So, um, so, you know, we get up and then, you know, we start going down this trail. So we're going down, we're still going down the trail. Um, and not to uh, forget, like we were going 
past this one body of water, like a lake, or, well, it definitely wasn't a lake, but like a pond. And then the kids was like, what's that? What's that? And I was like, man, it's probably fish. What else would be? I'm just joking, man. But it was actually a turtle. So, you know, that was just kind of something that stuck out too, you know, so we seen the turtle in there. But while we're on this trail, we start walking and I'm guessing like we start getting deep into the trail. So we start seeing these like two big, huge houses, right? And the kid's like, man, I wish I had that house right there. That's, that's probably a rapper's house. And they start calling out rappers and people like celebrities. Oh, that's such and such house. That's such and such house, right? And so, you know, we're just walking, you know, we're just, in, I'm enjoying myself because I love to do this type of stuff, you know, man, just enjoying my life and, you know, just getting paid for it. It's a beautiful thing. So, um, so we're walking and then like, I'm kind of behind the staff or well, certain staff and certain kids, right? So I'm looking up and I see like some turkeys, right? So I mean, we're at the the Roper Mountain uh, Science Center, right? So I'm like, okay, the turkeys, they're probably part of the, you know, but it was a fence. And from where I was looking, I thought they was on this side of the fence, right? So we're walking and then, you know, I start getting close and I noticed that, you know, they're not on that side of the fence. They're on the side of the fence with us. So this is like, I don't think these turkeys were domesticated, right? So Mr. Day was like, hey, you know what, man? We're just gonna turn around because ain't, ain't no telling what else is down there, man, if these turkeys are loose right right here, man. <laughs> and that was funny, you know, because I mean, he was right because, you know, we don't know what else was down there, you know, what kind of wildlife and stuff. I mean, we're smack dab in the middle of the woods, right? So, okay, so we, um, so we turned around and all the kids were like, why we stop? Why we stop? And it's like, yo, those those turkeys right there, you know, you might not want to mess with them. Like the turkeys that we've seen in there that we've been seeing on this side, you know, they've been kind of, you know, domesticated animals. So, you know, we don't really want to deal with any wild animals, especially with, you know, the residents and stuff. They get hurt. They got to go to the hospital, man. And then I'm like, oh, man. So now I got to take this kid to the, to the hospital, man, when I can just be enjoying this outing. Nah, I'm just joking. But if something does happen to a kid on an outing, like, you know, we might have to take them to the hospital. So we want to minimize um, risk and stuff like that, right? We don't want to ruin the outing, um, you know, being careless and something happening, right? So it's better to be safe than sorry when you have your residence, right? So um, when we're done with all that, you know, Mr. Dave, he actually had, um, he actually uh, pre-ordered um, food at Chick-fil-A, right? So when we leave, um, when, well, before we left, that was kind of an issue um, because we, we were about to leave, but we didn't necessarily go to the bus. So there was like a lot of kids that just ran to the bus. I don't know if it was just so hot and they just couldn't take the heat and they just like ran to the bus and they just like start piling on. And then me and Mr. Dave was telling them like, there's no staff with you guys, right? You know. Even though we have fun with these guys, you know, there's still times where we have to correct them and let them know, you know, hey, this wasn't right. This was right. You know, you know, we try not to be too serious, but, you know, we still have a job to do. And then we're still the basis of this is to teach them how to integrate back into the community. So, you know, Mr. Dave had a talk with them about, you know, why that was wrong for them to just run. You know, they know they're supposed to have staff with them and stuff like that. But Mr. Dave calls Chick-fil-A, you know, he sets it up, you know, hey, we'll, we'll be here at this time. Um, you know, just because, you know, having like 17 people trying to come in, order, you know, we do this all the time. Like, you know, people might get the wrong thing, forget what they got, you know, you know, not get something, you know, it's just always hectic. So Mr. Dave just went ahead and pre-ordered like chicken sandwich. Um, I think we got like the chip fries, um, the cookie, you know, and something to drink, right? You know more than enough to eat, right? So so we get there and you know, you know, we 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 we're, we're eating our food, we're having a good time, you know, and then I keep hearing like a little sound, like you know, it sounds like a dog or something or something barking. And then I look at the residents and they're like giggling. And then, you know, in my mind, like slowly I'm getting frustrated because I I'm, I'm thinking this noise is well, I'm thinking that these guys should know better than to make noises like that. You know what I mean? Like it was just so immature and I'm kind of getting frustrated, but I'm not saying anything. I'm trying to look around and see who's doing it. Cause most of them are kind of like giggling about it. I'm like, what's going on? Like, you know, and I'm here like, oh, woo, woo, woo. and I'll hear them kind of giggle. And I'm like, you know, I really, I mean, we can, uh, it's nothing against addressing them in public, but you want to address them a certain way, you know? 
um, you know, especially with people around and stuff and stuff like that. So I'm I'm trying to make sure that I'm right before I'm addressing them. So um, when I'm on the way to the restroom, I noticed that it's not the residents. It was like a kid. And he was on the ground and he was like barking or something. He was like a young kid or whatever. I don't know if he was just in a certain phase or something. But honestly, I was kind of, I really didn't like the fact that they were like laughing, but I was kind of really relieved because I thought it was one of them actually. Like there was nothing in my mind that was telling me that this was somebody else making this noise. I knew it was somebody there, but I was just really relieved that it wasn't them. But when we left, Mr. Dave spoke with them about, you know, laughing, you know, at the at the kid, you know, that was making the barking noises and stuff like that, you know, but this was outside of the restaurant, you know, because that's more pro more professional, you know what I mean? Like we're done eating, we're not in the crowd, so it was just kind of like all generation people out there. And Mr. Dave is telling them, you know, why it wasn't right, you know, for them to um, continue, continuously, you know, sniggle and giggle. Now, they wasn't terrible kids, but you know, you know, they're teenage guys, they're gonna giggle and stuff like that, but still, they still need to know, hey, this is really not acceptable. You know, I understand you made a mistake by laughing. You can't control what you think is funny the instant that it happens, but to keep carrying on with it, you know, that's not what we teach our residents here at Generations, okay? So, um, so basically we loaded back up and, you know, and we drove back and, you know, I've been holding your, well, I've been taking up your time for like 26, 27 minutes, but that's just, uh, how that outing went. Um, just, uh, stay tuned because there will be more outings that we will be breaking down. Um, please donate to gener generations, um, you know, all donations, whether you're donating, um, financially, whether you're donating, uh, materials or products, or even if you're just donating your time, you know, just please just donate to us. Um, my name is Sean and I'll see you guys on the next video. Have a great day.